Hi friends, my name is Jorge Muñoz. I'm a senior instructor pilot working in El Salvador. So glad to see you once more. And welcome back to the second episode of A Day in the Life as a Senior Instructor Pilot. Today, my day starts at 7 a.m. when I wake up to get ready to go to the gym. A pilot has to stay healthy now more than ever. But I'm not going working out alone, so around 7.30, I leave the house to go for my friend who lives nearby. I mean, we are like five minutes apart from each other. And he was the one who insisted that I should make a blog when going to the gym. So here I am and here it is the blog. But he doesn't know that today is the day that I decided to film. So this is the reaction that I get when he discovers that I'm filming this. He didn't want to appear in the blog, but during our way to the gym, I managed to convince him. So I can say it was a productive car ride. And after that we keep talking about this YouTube channel and YouTube in general. I think he is ashamed of me doing these videos. Oh well. At 7.50 a.m. we arrived to the gym and by 8 o'clock we begin our workout. Here you can see some excellent shots of the floor, because again I got a shame from filming in public. I'm still working on that. I'm sorry for this shot, but this one was the best I could get without everyone noticing that I'm filming myself. You can see over there, over my left shoulder, my friend Diego. He doesn't run that often, he prefers the bicycle. So I run about half an hour, and then I get ready to work some muscle, to pursue once more my dream to look like Henry Cavill. As you can see, we decided to pick this gym after the whole pandemic because it was one of the few to reopen with one of the best, if not the best, biosecurity rules in the whole country. So we feel as safe as possible working out here, even when the whole virus thing is still going strong in our country. But yeah, it's a pretty legit gym. I didn't used to come here before the pandemic, but now I love it. Now you get some shots of me working out, while I forced Diego to film me. As well as you can see, at this hour, the whole gym is pretty much empty, because most people is at their jobs. So that's another good side of working as an instructor pilot. You almost always decide your own schedule, and today I got my whole morning free. So here you have still more shots of me working out. And as you can see, outside the running machines, everyone is forced to use the mask. So after two hours of workout, we went to the pool area and made some sauna sessions, which is also very clean and with very high biosecurity standards Obviously, I could not get the phone in here. What a shame. At around 10.30, we finished with that, and we got ready to go back home. And I keep messing up with Diego a little bit in the bathrooms. Wait, that doesn't sound good. I wanted to film some pool shots, but I forgot it. So Diego convinced me to film ourselves on our way out. I'm not gonna lie, it was hard for me, but it actually seemed quite easy for Diego. Hmm, curious. At 11 a.m. I am back home and I took a very short nap. And when I woke up, I remembered the whole war zone I have in my room. I was filming some videos yesterday and I said that I would clean up the mess today in the morning. But as you can see, that didn't go as planned. 
I was supposed to clean this before going working out. Because now I am out of time and I have to go to the airport. So the war zone stays as a war zone for now. Once I'm done with my lunch, I get ready to finally go. I take my keys, put on my uniform, grab my wallet and my watch, and my trusty water bottle. Oh, also don't forget the headsets, very important. And of course, my very trustworthy iPad Air. I looked myself in the mirror and I see nothing but success. At 12.30 I leave the house and I start noticing that the sky doesn't look that good. Oh, by the way, it's Friday, so we are allowed to use our Friday uniform. It is a nice way to end a week of work. At 1 p.m. I arrive to the airport and I see that the weather is not on our side. But hey, in El Salvador the weather changes from one minute to the next one. Especially during this part of the year. So you never know. This is a fairly small airport. What makes it perfect for the flight schools. I could record a little bit more for the blog while I was waiting for my student to arrive to the airport. And even though at this point we know that we are probably going to lose at least the first flight tower due to weather, we still make a good briefing of the instrument charts. By the way, I'm thankful that my student is happy to appear in these blogs. At 2 o'clock, when we know for sure that we are not going to do the first flight hour, we start discussing in depth about the instrument charts, because he is very near to his instrument rating final check right, and I know that he can very easily succeed on it. But more often than not, he is very lazy. So I use what otherwise would have been wasted time into a study session for him as well as me. I asked him to pass me my iPad and I asked him every possible question that came to my mind about those instrument charts. Here we are using a study method called Active Recall, where we force our brains to remember what we have already seen before looking our notes. That way our brain is actively working to remember instead of just passively reading through our notes. At 3 p.m., when we ran out of questions, we decided to take a short break. And we saw that the weather wasn't getting better. So, as the sky was almost falling down during this storm, I decided to took some shots of the airplanes, as you normally do when it's raining. Here on the left you can see a student very near to his first solo flight, discussing about the airplane with an advanced pilot instructor rating student. That's very good for both. The new student learn new things from a far more advanced student, while the other is practicing how to pass on his knowledge. I took some more shots about the airplanes, and I leave the school for a moment with my student. We are heading out to grab something to eat, because we have lost every hope to fly today. We go grab my student's car, and I asked him to quickly pull over the school, because suddenly it was completely empty, and I know that I would finally be able to film without feeling ashamed. So yeah, epic music.
Once I'm done filming the airplanes, now is my student the one that wants to return to the school, because apparently he forgot something. So third time is the charm, right? We finally go grab some hot dogs and some corn with a little bit of soda and we stayed in the car for like 20 minutes and hallelujah believe it or not by 4 pm the skies were crystal clear the storm was over and as soon as that happened the clouds almost completely disappeared Remember before when I said that weather changes in the blink of an eye? Well, it was true, at least today. Luckily, we were able to do our instrument practice, even though when we got far from the airport, we found a little bit of bad weather, but nothing to worry about. And because we previously had a very long briefing, and a fairly long study session, my student was sharp as a knife for that flight. I am so proud of myself. We had an amazing view because of the clouds and a pretty good weather for the most part of the flight. In case you are wondering, we made a DME arc approach practice. And now, some more epic music. That day we were even lucky enough that the next flight hour, I mean the one that was after us, was now free for the taking, because apparently the student that was supposed to fly after us didn't arrive to the airport because of the bad weather from before. So at 5.20 pm we were able to make up for the flight hour that we lost earlier, and it was another smooth instrument flight from my student. At this point I am convinced that he is ready for his final check ride. We landed for the second and last time for today at 6.20 pm and after the debriefing we were both ready to go home by 6.50 pm. At 7.30 pm I am back home and I saw one more time the war zone that was my bedroom, but I was feeling very tired so I couldn't be bothered at all at that moment. So now that I'm wearing my pyjamas after taking a bath, I am ready to lay down on my bed for a while. I really needed to rest. But at 8.30, after I ate dinner, I'm feeling very good. Maybe I was just hungry. Now I sit down on my desk to see Ali Abdal's newest video and to take some notes from it. If you know him, he is the one that has inspired me to start this channel. And if you know him, you know how amazing his videos are. After that, I took my daily Italian lessons from Duolingo, but my online friends interrupted me because I was supposed to be playing with them by this hour, so I told them that I would join in in some minutes. Epic music of me learning in Duolingo! At 10 o'clock I am finally done with all that 
and I get ready to waste my time playing Smite for the rest of the night. After all, it was a very productive day for me. I'm not going to tell you at which hour we finished playing, but luckily I had a free day from the fly school the next day. So at X o'clock I called it a night and that's today's video. A day in the life of a senior instructor pilot going back to normal after everything that has happened this year. So thank you very much for watching, if you enjoyed it or at least found it somewhat entertaining, please give it a like. And if you like these types of videos, please consider subscribing, I appreciate it quite a lot. If you want to see something in particular during these vlogs, please feel free to tell me in the comments down below. And if you are interested in becoming an outstanding private pilot, please check out my book Essential Knowledge for Private Pilot. The link is in the description down below, it's an Amazon Kindle exclusive. So once again thank you very much for watching and I hope to see you in another video. Bye!